This week, the government released its code of practice for watering public parks and ovals in a bid to save them from drought. And while the work is now underway on a code of practice for watering trees, there are fears this current extraordinary burst of hot weather will mean it's all too late. Leah McLennan reports. The city is looking increasingly dry. Brown grass, drained lakes and fountains turned off. But the silent victims of water restrictions are Adelaide's trees and many of them tell a story of our state's history. A number of them have defoliated, there's dieback and we have been deadwooding the bees and we have been trying to improve the health of the root system by mulching heavily but it is really not enough for these species in our times of drought. For the trees at the Waite Arboretum at Urbre, it's been a long time between drinks. None of the trees here have been watered in 50 years, but it's a mark of the severity of this drought that only now this avenue of 70 elms is beginning to die. Jennifer Gardner is the director of the Arboretum and she wants SA Water to approve an experimental watering program to save the trees. How's it looking at the moment? Well, clearly it's stressed and after a number of years of drought and under current water restrictions, trees like these English elms, which are really not suited our, to our climate, are really stressed at the moment. And these clearly need water, more water than they're getting now. So this avenue of, of the 70 trees, I mean, what's significant about it? Well, the, this was uh, planted in 1928 when the Waite Arboretum was first established. And it's a significant landscaping element in the Arboretum. It provides a wonderful vista from the centre of the main institute building towards the sea. And so I think, although they're not really appropriate for our climate, they are worth preserving because they are a significant avenue. They're listed on the National um, Trust list register of significant trees. David Laurie from the advocacy group TreeNet is worried that other significant trees around the city are suffering the same fate. This tree here, that's not looking too good, is it? No, it doesn't serve the purpose of being a memorial tree and even now you'd say that its useful life is, is over. After the First World War, the policy was generally to bury dead soldiers where they fell in Europe. Families who couldn't bury their loved ones planted avenues of trees, each representing a dead soldier. One of those avenues of honour runs along Alexandra Avenue and Prescott Terrace in Rose Park. These trees used to be watered at the same time as the lawn, but now the Burnside Council and residents are turning off the sprinklers. The biggest impact uh, that people would feel is in their front gardens and their back gardens because they're not allowed to water at least the patch of the bucket. But the previous situation was that people were able to water their front gardens and the trees, street trees in particular, were relied upon that water. And now you can see all over Adelaide the effect of that restriction because trees are dying. David Laurie says these elms face certain death, like the men they represent. But they battled for the country to make it a better one. And I think that if they understood the politics of water now, they would be really, really shocked and horrified that, um, that we have wasted those resources, wasted the opportunities that they gave us, and now it looks as if we're going to lose the few emblems of commemoration that we have planned on their behalf. <laughs> 